Okay, <clears throat> so today here I am in the bathroom and I'm about to do my bi-weekly testosterone injection. Now I've promised for a while that I'd do a video of this process, so here we are. And um, first we've got the preparation. These are all of the items needed. The alcohol, the testosterone itself, three cotton balls, for sanitation and blood stopping purposes, one band-aid, and one syringe. I'm going to prepare everything. I'm going to try to do it where you can see it, but considering that I have pretty much just my phone camera and I'm doing this by myself, this is going to be very awkward, possibly. So, um, here we go, and let's prepare. Okay, so now we're going to prepare. First, we open the syringe. This can just be thrown away anywhere. Um, the used syringes have to be put in a biohazard container, which is then turned into pharmacies for disposal. I won't be showing that part because the biohazard container is in a different room and I don't feel like going to get it. Next, open the testosterone. This little vial, when it's full, contains 10 shots worth. That's basically 20 weeks. Uh, let's see, yeah. To do 1.1 milliliters. I think that's what ML stands for. Every two weeks. And here's the alcohol. It's just normal rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna take a cotton ball and get it nice and wet. And wipe off the top. Or you could just drop the testosterone container. Just a minute. Okay, back again. So, take the cotton ball with the alcohol wipe off the top of the testosterone container. This one's now done. Trash can's down there. Okay. Now, let's see here. Now we open this. There's the needle. Yes, it is about as long as my finger. Well, half my finger. Now you pull some air in because this will actually help pull the um, cypionate into the needle. And there we go. The little rubber stopper. Turn it upside down. You can see inside. Blow some bubbles. And then we pull. Just let it fill a bit. You see there is air in there, but now we just pull a bit more. There we go. Then we force the air out and take it to the 1.1 that it needs to be. See? Turn it back over, pull it out. The injection is now prepared. You put the cap back on. And now it's time to prepare the injection site. Camera change. And here, as you can see, is my thigh. I'm wearing shorts, pull them up. Injection is gonna go right here in the big muscle. So we're putting alcohol on another cotton ball. alcohol and cotton ball. And we disinfect the area. Just make a nice wide disinfected area. And I like to open the band-aid beforehand just because when you get to this point sometimes there is blood and it comes on very very fast. So now once I've got the, the band-aid prepared, 
Then we move on to the next step. Believe it or not, the next step is not actually the injection. You're going to kind of beat yourself up a little. For about 30 seconds or less, you start hitting the underside of your leg. This oversensitizes the nerve underneath the one you're about to stab and basically makes the actual stab painless. Only did that for a few seconds, but I'm used to this now. So here we go. Take the cap off the needle. One, two, three. Now this is the part that squicks people out. Actually leave the needle in there. And then pull it out. It's awkward to do, but that's the actual injection. Now it's done. Now I'm doing this. This rubbing breaks up the ball of inject, basically in the thigh and will help it absorb into the muscle fibers. Now the hard part, finding the actual injection site to put the band-aid on. Come on, bleed a little. There it is. And there we go. Band-Aid's on. Injection is done. So I hope you enjoyed that and learned a little something about what uh, transgender people on hormone repra replacement therapy, also known as HRT, go through every couple of weeks. Now the procedure is different for men than for women. Um, if I'm right, estrogen is a lot more common to take orally, but testosterone, I prefer the injections. I can do it myself, first of all, as obviously shown here, and it's just, it's simpler for me. Uh, there's also tablets that can be injected under the skin, um, and it can, it seeps out naturally, but those can also burst, and those cause also problems sometimes. Anyway, that was what the situation is, and now I have to dispose of the remnants of the injection and um, go about my day because that that's it that's actually it um, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something got any questions for me make sure to leave them in the comments section down below um, let me know if you want to see anything else if this wasn't clear enough I'll see if I can have my wife help me film it next time but either way there we go have a nice day.